Hey guys, Hassan here, engineer, MBA, and ultimately an investor. And today's video, guys, I want to talk about Tesla. I want to talk about how legacy media has once again proven to be wrong about Tesla. And I want to talk about Cybertruck. I just want to talk about Tesla in general as of today. We are the 10th May 2021, and there's so many people still in today's age, in, in a time where Tesla is breaking records, they're literally changing our perception about legacy autos. You know, we no longer want autos to be run on dirty oil, on petroleum that pollutes the world. And even still, even still, after all these achievements in 2021, you have all this legacy media that have been attacking Tesla. Um, so what, it, what we see in this article here, guys, is ntsb.government this is the official website of the organization this is in us they're basically the one who investigate and who really officially report all crashes uh, in this case uh, uh, the tesla crash that occurred in texas just under a month ago in april april 17. so really quick story if anyone who isn't aware basically this car got an accident uh, in mid april 17 April 17 and then basically a lot of legacy media based uh, right after the crash they basically reported that Tesla had the autopilot on and basically the autopilot crashed the car and it was revealed less than 24 hours later that autopilot couldn't have been on for numerous of reasons right we don't have to go into specifics but this is the official report this is as of today this is the government report saying hey this is this was not a crash due to autopilot so already there you can really state that the legacy media was wrong they many of these media consumer report wall street journal many of these legacy media attacked tesla stating that autopilot was on you had government officials pointing tesla to autopilot to be deadly and this was literally without knowing the facts and now we have the facts and this is where we stand today and another really quick uh a quick picture here this is from uh individual on twitter obviously she is verified and she has thousands of followers and look at what she just basically said here uh, just the last sentence i almost don't have any words but i will say that i hope his tesla catches on fire and he dies so you have these influencers you have these legacy media people you have these people with many followers with many 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 uh following on different social media platform on legacy tv that really believe these stories guys you you see these professional people quote unquote professional people in suits and ties really go on television and really claim these these uh outrageous statements right i hope his tesla catches on fire and he dies i mean what is this like are we in a civilized society like what this is the like, outrageous you know you have these legacy people really attacking not just tesla but elon musk now okay this was a reference to elon musk on saturday going in saturday night live obviously he pumped dogecoin and other cryptocurrencies and basically she's making a reference to that and she's really angry with his appearance on saturday night and she goes on to state these types of statement now when you see this, you just cannot help to really feel sorry, not just for Elon Musk, but for Tesla's general. You know, this company really, I've, like I mentioned earlier, this company is changing the way we see automobiles, right? They're basically the first company to really popularize the idea of having electrical vehicles. They're really uh, breaking records as of today. They're distributing so many electrical vehicles on all continents. You have this company that's working on RoboTaxi. We talked about how RoboTaxi is expected to come in 2022 in Miami City. Mayor uh, Francis is a big, big supporter of RoboTaxi. And, you know, Tesla is doing so many things, guys. They're researching so much in R&D. They have zero dollar in cost in marketing, zero. They're spending zero dollars on ads, zero dollar on marketing. This is their model. Uh, Elon Musk is very adamant about this. Uh, and yet people are aware about this brand because we the people we the citizen the average people just like I am right I'm an average citizen uh, I am not I don't have any inside information I don't hang out with billionaires no I don't have any ties with legacy media uh, I get my information from social media from different research reports from different interviews and I can tell you for a fact that Tesla brand is very strong 
unfortunately you have all this legacy media and don't forget guys legacy media as has already stated their incentives are not aligned with yours right their incentive is to get your eyeballs and your clicks right and usually their ads are paid by legacy autos right they're paid by dirty oil companies they're paid by insurance companies that are all all vested in the interest that tesla fails so you know you get these comments guys you just cannot help to not talk about it i i just had to make this video um and i want to show this video guys here this is on youtube everyone can access this video this was uh, published just two days ago and um cyber truck was basically released in new york city there was a lot a lot of publicity on it just take a look at this video guys as we played it we'll keep this video muted but you can clearly see here look at this cyber truck this is coming in life by next year we'll see these on the, these on the roads it's expected by 2022 this should be in production by end of the year there were a lot of rumors but i think a lot of people are saying by 20 to early 2022 we'll see them on the roads just look how beautiful it is this is just changing the landscape right so we're no longer talking about sedan cars or we're talking about model y suvs or sports car we're talking about like trucks right the trucks are the most uh, sold car in us um, there's a lot of people a lot of people guys that are against cyber truck because they're big big supporters of ford and other legacy autos but just look at how this this truck here it's fully electric it's changing the game it's going to be priced at a reasonable cost i think it's under like 40k us something like that crazy like that um, just look at how beautiful it is and I mean guys you have this company that's releasing all these products to, to the world beautiful cars you're really putting time into it very always breaking records uh, in terms of safety in terms of mileage right in terms of cost and they're changing the game changing the landscape you see these beautiful products here uh, and yet unfortunately you see you know legacy media just cannot help themselves to attack Tesla at any chance right no one reports the Honda crashes, no one reports the Ford crashes, no one reports the VW crashes. You know, VW went, you know, in 2008, 2009, whenever it was, they had a big scandal about their emissions rate. Yet, you know, no one really talks about it still, you know, how can we trust these types of companies that have been polluting our world for years and years, decades, if not centuries, right? Um, and then you have this company like Tesla that comes to this world that is working on these products, beautiful products. Guys, I just cannot help to say that, you know, you you know, I really hope, you know, the people that are watching these this video, you guys can make an informed decision on your own. Research and you know, try to understand, you know, the dynamics behind it. Try to understand the incentives. Uh, I think there was a great, great uh, quote from Charlie Munger that talks about show me your incentives and I'll show them their actions. Right. So I think this is the perfect code to describe these legacy media, legacy autos, dirty energy companies, dirty oil companies. And, you know, we in this channel, guys, it's all about promoting information to the public for free. We're all about this mission on raising awareness about energy, crypto and genomics and energy. Obviously, Tesla is heavily into it. Um, you guys see these beautiful products, beautiful service, yet, you know, legacy media just cannot help themselves just to attack this company at any chance. So hopefully you guys appreciate this video. I'm going to let this video play out a little bit, but you can see here, this is so beautiful. This is a real car, guys. This is going to come to life. Everyone has seen Tesla's on the road, Model 3, Model X, Model S, Model uh, Y, uh, the Roadster. But now we will be seeing Cybertrucks by the end of the year or early 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 2022 we will see uh, these cyber trucks these massive cars guys cyber trucks is the most uh, is going to be the most popular car we believe in the us in 2022 because most cars sold in us is and are um, trucks right these are the most sold cars um, and we really do believe cyber trucks are going to there are they will they will be sold out i mean there's i think there's a million res, reservations already people have been tracking those reservations through uh vin numbers or whatever uh they've been tracking with tracking order numbers whatever because you can reserve it today but with like hundred dollars us but there's already a million orders right now will all of those order orders be uh, fulfilled you know by the consumers we don't know but you know it gives you a perspective guys this is a very popular car 
um, and this is another type of car here. But anyways, we'll end this video like this. So hopefully you guys appreciate this video. I really wanted to make this video on it today because of the report that was released today, just like I was showing here. Just as you see these legacy media every day, you know, spewing, you know, BS about TS Tesla. So hopefully you guys appreciate this video. If you did, please subscribe, guys. It really does help the channel. Like our videos, just smash that like button. Everyone knows how the YouTube algorithm works. And we will see each other in the next video. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you.